Fear not. Be not afraid. What a great line in the scripture. And interestingly enough, those words in one form or another are found 365 times in the scriptures. Fear not. Be not afraid. They are the most common, it is the most common phrase in our scriptures. Fear not. As you think about that, think of all the times we hear that throughout the liturgical year in the various gospels that are proclaimed. Fear is a terrible thing. We've been through a great deal of fear as we have dealt with the pandemic. And look what fear does to people. It isolates them. It keeps them distant. It keeps them confused. Fear can actually paralyze us and keep us from being who we know as we are, the very children of God. When fear takes grip, our lives change dramatically. We know it. And the advice of the gospel is to face into fear. We saw that through the pandemic as well. So many heroes facing into fear and doing the work of God in the world, bringing hope and healing through our first responders. Fear not. The official of the synagogue believed in Jesus. He had faith. He approached Jesus humbly and says, my daughter is very sick. Please come to our house. Lay your hand, touch, so important on her, and she will be made better. And as they approached, they heard the message that the little girl had died. But Jesus' response to that is, fear not. And he pays no attention to the wailing and to the commotion. He knows what his intentions are and what he will fulfill for the people, for this family. To lose a child is a terrible, terrible loss. He goes in, and once again, he takes the little girl by the hand. Fear will not prevail. Faith will prevail. Belief in the healing power of the Lord takes place, and he speaks gentle words to the girl. Little girl, arise. And immediately, she wakes up. And then Jesus, feed her. Give her something to eat. Her spiritual self has been nourished. Feed her body now. And then he gives an instruction. Tell nobody about that. It's called the messianic secret found in Mark's gospel. My friends, we fear not. We are followers of the risen Lord. We celebrate his life, his death, and his resurrection, most importantly, as we celebrate Eucharist this day.